Hello everybody, Lou with Bergen Pickers here and today we're taking a look at the Big Bruiser by Mark's Toys. Big Bruiser came out in the 1960s, so exactly what year? No clue. I saw the commercial on YouTube and I thought it was really super cool. Um, so the Big Bruiser came with this wrecker or tow truck and it was uh, battery operated. Okay, on the side panel here, what does it say? Super Highway Service Incorporated. There we go. Got the original sticker still on there. The side view mirrors, which are usually gone, because this this toy was really used for outside play, even though it was battery operated and um, it usually took a lot of beatings. This is the toolbox, nice and clean. There you go. Uh, the tools are not inside, I have them over here. These are the controls. All right, a little dusty over there. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna try those on a little bit. I popped in uh, the big boy batteries and let's see if it uh, functions and turns on. This right here, I think, is the, whoop, let me get to it. That's the lock, the lever that locks the winch. The winch, not the winch, the winch. All right, we got a couple of cracks, one there, and if you can bear with me, another one right there, so on both sides. But look at how clean it is. Um, it's got a lot of pieces that are usually missing, like the original tow hook is normally gone. And there it is, with the Mark's logo. This piece is usually gone. Let's see how that functions here. Oh. Alright, it says caution. If you lift and gently pull, it's like a caution sign. Nice. As you can see, the decal is still on it. Let's lock that back in. There we go. The Mark's logo right back there. Okay, we got these pieces. It's supposed to be, I guess, like uh, lights. Um, these are normally broken off. In this case, they're not. Uh, you got the wheel, still has a lot of chrome on it. Super nice. And it says Lewis Marks and Co. Um, and I'm assuming that's a patent number on there. Okay, so the steering wheel actually moves the front axle. So I'm going to move it. It's difficult to do this with one hand. There you go, it pivots. And as you can see, it moves the front wheel. Now, if you do this with two hands, it works much better. But as, as you can see, it, it moves the tire. There you go. Okay. All right. Um, it also has the windshield wipers. There they are. Still attached, still moving. The big bruiser decal right in front. Nice fender. A little chrome missing, otherwise, real nice. Um, whoever had this toy previously definitely took care of it. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys down for a second as I turn it around so we can take a look at the other side. It's pretty much gonna be more of the same, but just so we can take a look at condition real quick and then we'll get to the nitty gritty of hey does it actually work decals decals all original not replaced <clears throat> okay so it does take batteries four of them I call them the big boy batteries I believe they're D's I have to double check, but whatever the biggest batteries you can buy for toys, that's what this thing takes. Okay, and there's some of the wiring for the uh, light here. Okay, we'll have to see if that works as well. Okay, here's some more controls and instructions on how to operate it. Tells you exactly what's going on there. So there's a lot of things you can do with it. So, moment of truth. All right. I put batteries in. 
gonna think how to operate this again. Let's see, let's unlock the winch. Let's take a look at the tow hook. There it is. Good, nicely centered. And I'm gonna move this lever right here. Oh, and uh, this lever shifts it from, if you move it to the front, it's supposed to move the vehicle forward and backward. So the wheels will move. Okay, so this sw this lever switches it to a vehicle wheel control, I guess you could say. And then this operates it moving forward or backward. And I'm gonna check that in a second. And this button right here, um, I believe if you press it down, while the vehicle moves forward and backward, the light is supposed to turn on. And because it is over 50 years old, it may take a little while to pick up because that's what happens with some older toys. Or it could pick up right away, or it might not turn on at all. Either way, here we go. So we're gonna switch it back here for tow hook control. I unlocked it with that lever, good, it's unlocked, and... Oh baby! And down you go! Boop. And you're going back up. Okay, let's look at the motor and how that works. Okay, well, it works. Awesome! Okay, hold on. Okay, now let's switch this lever to the front. Boom. Okay, now, if I drop this camera all of a sudden, it's because I don't want this thing to drive off the shelf. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to shift it back. So I'm going to put you guys down for a second again. I'm going to shift it back because I want to give it some space. There you go. Nice close up. Front. Good. See if it goes forward. I'm gonna back up. And it moves. Mm -hmm. Almost off the ledge. And back. And let's see if you can see that. What? And back. All right. Moment of truth. So everything works, everything's functional. That's awesome. Okay, hold on, let's press down this little button right here. Light is not turning on, I don't think it's supposed to yet. But let me move it. Uh, don't see any action yet. Hold on a second. Let me try something else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Move it forward. I don't see it turning on. Oh, wait a second. Something just happened. Let's try that again. Is that an optical illusion? Let's see. Nope, yep, something definitely turned on. Here it is. Okay, light works. So my guess is it may, eh, you might have to replace the lamp on it. Well, I mean, not the lamp, the bulb. Let's see, is there a bulb in there? There's gotta be a bulb in there. Yeah, of course, if the light turns on, there's probably a tiny little bulb in there. Yeah, okay. So press the button now. There you go. Light turns on. It's faint, but it's working. Um, so that's good. Awesome. Okay, let's look at the battery compartment. I'm gonna set you down. Uh, set you down again. Okay. Actually, let's look at the bottom of it here. Very nice. Clean. Clean. Very important. Very important. That's clean. Well maintained. Super important. Look at this. Now let's back it up. Whoa! There are the big boys. Let's take them out. I'm gonna set you down again. Yeah, take a close look at that tire. 
What an awesome tire! And the batteries just came out. Okay, let's take a look at the battery compartment. So, when it comes to battery operated toys, battery compartment super important. Um, it has to be clean. Okay, if you see any rusting or anything uh, that doesn't look right, it's no bueno. Okay, so we want to make sure the battery compartment is very clean or else it has minimal chance of working and it definitely has to be restored. Um, at the very least, cleaned really well and uh, I've tried it once and it is a ton of work uh, which obviously affects the value. So if the battery compartment is dirty, the vehicle does not run, you, you're taking a huge hit to the value. Okay, and most of them don't run. Obviously because of the age and the use and the play wear and you know, it was a, it was a toy intended to be um, abused. You know, it, was a, it was a toy, it was meant to be played with, especially outside. It was a boy's toy and boy's toys were usually destroyed really. Look, look what I just found. Woo! Okay, can you see? Hold on, let's try something. There we go. So it's... You know, light wants to work, so the longer it's on... Cool. Alright. So, now, it came with accessories. And I'm grabbing them for you right now. Okay, I'm gonna set them to the side. Okay, so... The Big Bruiser did come... Uh, with another pickup truck that it would tow away. Let's say you're supposed to pretend play with it and let's say it got stuck somewhere and or it got, an uh, got into an accident. It even came with a flat tire that was attached. Um, but we do not have the pickup truck. Uh, difficult to find pickup truck was uh, made of all plastic. Would usually break into pieces and because it came with a lot of pieces um, most of them you, would, you, know, you, you can't find. Um, they would just get lost. So, what we still have from the pickup truck are three of the four wheels. And the one missing is the, let's see, yep, it's the flat tire. And I know that's the one that's missing because the flat tire literally, I mean, it's not round, it's, this part is just flat. It, it's, it's, instead of being rounded, it's cut off here to there. Um, and then it looks flat. Uh, one of the fenders, my guess is the rear fender. Is this a rear fender? Yeah, probably the rear fender. Um, the jack. Now watch this. And this is what I love about toys, especially US made toys from the 50s and the 60s. And watch. Okay, that's going the wrong way. Let's make you go the correct way. What? Can you see? It works. Completely functional. And it can go back down. And actually it goes pretty high, it goes up to here. How cool is that, right? Uh, neat. Fully functional, manual, jack. There it is. So got a hammer. Wrench. And axle. Okay, actually, hold on. Nope, I'm wrong, not axle. Like that's what this is for right here. I think when the batteries run out, gonna put you guys on again. Yeah, I promise last time. Yes. Ha! It's the manual lever. To raise or lower the tow hook. Watch this. So I got the lever, tow hook. Da -da 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 -da. Included and fully functional Sweet Okay, well, this is the big bruiser made by Mark's toys sometime in the 60s my guess mid to late 60s um, Also referred to as the super highway service a tow truck or wrecker simply because that's what people usually find You know when they see it. That's what they call it because it says it right there uh, fully functional light works faintly, but it works Tow hook works, vehicle moves front and back, and uh, on the vehicle itself everything's included. 
Missing the pickup truck with one tire and a couple of fenders, but we have everything else. Sweet, so if you enjoyed this video or have any questions or any comments, please leave them below, subscribe to us. Um, it really helps and uh, you know, it, it really keeps me motivated to make more videos. You know what, forget it, I'll make more videos anyways. But yeah, just uh, subscribe to us, it's, it is much appreciated. Um, I wanna thank you in advance. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Bergen Pickers. You can visit our website at bergenpickers.com or search us on Facebook and like us there, okay? We always have uh, new updates of things and videos, etc. So, um, adios. This is Lou with Bergen Pickers.